Welcome to this presentation on the pay offer for junior doctors in Wales resulting from recent negotiations with Welsh Government. In this presentation we will look at how we got to the point of negotiation with the Government, uh, how the negotiations went, what the outcome was and the offer that is now being presented to members, the referendum process that will be undertaken and next steps in the event of a yes vote and a no vote. As health is a devolved matter and sits with the Senate in Wales, the pay award for junior doctors is determined by the Welsh Government. As part of the enhanced pay offer for the 2022-23 pay year, the Welsh Government agreed to enter into separate medical and dental pay talks for the 2023-24 pay year. The Welsh Junior Doctors Committee entered these negotiations last summer in good faith alongside consultants and SAS doctors. The committee was clear that a pay award was needed that began to address pay restoration and value the profession appropriately. However, despite the Welsh Government's commitment to full pay restoration, the pay offer was at the time sub-inflationary, at just 5%. This was the lowest pay offer in the UK for the 2023-24 pay year and was well below the pay review body DDRB pay recommendation. Welsh Government made clear that this was its final offer. With no further negotiation to be had, it left us with no option other than to ballot for industrial action. In the meantime, the Welsh Government chose to pay the offer, despite the negotiations having been unsuccessful. Junior doctors in Wales were successfully balloted for strike action in December of 2023. An overwhelming 98% of voting members voted yes for strike action on a 65% turnout. We used this strong mandate to launch 10 days of full walkout by junior doctors from January to March of this year. With SAS doctors and consultants stepping in to cover for striking colleagues, the estimated cost of the NHS for each day of action was £1.1 million. It was increasingly becoming clear to the Welsh Government that they couldn't afford not to settle this dispute with junior doctors. The sustained pressure from junior doctor strike action and the threat of senior doctors due to take strike action on the 16th of April brought the Welsh Government back to the negotiating table with a significant proposal for the basis of talks. Consultants and SAS doctors called off their joint strike action and the junior doctors committee announced that they would pause plans for further action to allow for space for negotiation. Junior doctors re-entered pay negotiations alongside consultants and SAS doctors with one pot of money on the table but very clear of the need for three separate deals. On Friday the 7th of June, we announced that three pay offers had been reached after a challenging negotiation with the Welsh Government and that the BMA is now recommending that junior doctors, consultants and SAS doctors all accept these offers. So, what is the pay offer we have reached? Most importantly, the offer is an additional 7.4% uplift to all junior doctors' pay, bringing the in-year total to 12.4%. This offer is fully backdated to the 1st of April 2023. As a result, pay rises for 2023-24 will be 9.1% above inflation, which for April 2023 to April 2024 was 3.3% according to RPI. This is a big step towards pay restoration. By way of example, if this offer were repeated for three more years, taking into account forecast inflation and the effect of compounding, we would have restored pay by the end of that time. There are also some other elements of the deal which are important. We have secured agreements to reform the study budget and study leave system, as well as commitments to improve facilities and road designs, two areas which haven't seen sufficient progress recently. We have secured reforms to the DDRB pay review system in Wales and a commitment from the Welsh Government that they will enter further direct negotiations with us if the 2024-25 pay recommendation is below inflation. This table compares the current pay scales with the proposed ones. It is important to recognise that the current value demonstrated here includes the 5% pay award already being paid. So the proposed value represents an increase proportionate to the 7.4% additional on offer. Banding supplements are of course on top of these values. The resulting pay scale starts at just over £30,000 for F1 doctors and tops out at over £63,000 for senior registrars. This means that the highest registrar pay, which many doctors reach eventually due to various factors, will commonly be around £95,000, taking into account a probable 50% banding supplement. We've also calculated the value of 12 months of back pay for basic pay, seen also on the table. If the deal is accepted, back pay will likely reach you in September or October, meaning that in fact close to 18 months will have accrued, not 12. The back pay will also cover banding supplements over the relevant periods, increasing its value for the majority of doctors even further. In total, this could mean back pay as high as over £9,000 reaching some doctors, with all receiving thousands. 
who pushed hard for this back pay and know how important this is to so many who had to give up pay to take industrial action in order to win this pay rise. So what does this all mean for pay erosion? Now that the 2023-24 pay year is over, we are able to compare the deal to inflation over that period. The offer is significantly above inflation, which between April 2023 and April 2024 was at 3.3%, according to RPI. This means that most of the offer goes towards restoring pay, meaning that erosion will fall from 29.6% to 23.4%, putting us well on the way to pay restoration. Although there's no guarantee of this happening, if it were to repeat with a similar offer for the next three years, that would restore all of the pay loss since 2008, taking into account compounding and future forecast inflation. This shows just how significant this offer is. Welsh Government maintain, in principle, a commitment to pay restoration, and so we will be able to hold them to account on continued progress on this in future pay rounds. There are a few other elements to this deal which we think provide some additional value to members. First, we have secured commitment from Welsh Government and NHS Wales employers to work on reforming the study budget system, including possible improvements to access, the budget level, and improving the systems and process by which you use study budget and study leave. Insufficient progress has been made towards implementing the NHS Wales Fatigue and Facilities Charter after it was agreed in 2020. Therefore, Welsh Government and NHS Wales employers will recommit to the Charter and work on cost of plans to implementation as well as improved monitoring of progress. Finally, we have agreed to re-enter contract negotiations later this year to reform the 22-year-old junior doctor contract. The Welsh Junior Doctors Committee remains of the view that this contract must be reformed and we are willing to have further discussions in an attempt to do so. However, we have been clear that this will require significant changes to some of the most fundamental parts of the contract that was rejected by members two years ago, including to the pay progression system, the value of antisocial working and working hours. The BMA has long-standing concerns about the effectiveness and independence of the DDRB the review body responsible for reviewing doctors' pay and recommending annual uplifts. In addition to the reforms secured by our colleagues in the UK Consultants Committee, we have secured the following reforms to the DDRB process in Wales. These reforms ensure the actions of the Welsh Government keep pace with the wider reforms of the DDRB in terms of reference enacted by the UK Government. The changes are as follows. Support for all changes to the pay review process agreed as part of the England Consultants' Pay Deal in April 2024 ensuring that any remit letter is neutral and solely to start the process and indicate that Wales wants pay recommendations without reference to affordability. To agree that recommendations of the DDRB are only rejected rarely and due to a compelling reason. To ensure that Welsh Government participate in the review process in a timely manner in accordance with the timelines set out by the DDRB. To promptly implement the recommendations of the DDRB upon publication. The Welsh Junior Doctors Committee are recommending this offer to members. They are clear that this is the best deal that they think can be reached by negotiation for the 2023-24 pay year. The pay deal offers a significant step towards pay restoration and significant amounts of back pay. We believe that there is a risk to, that there will be no uplift to the 2023-24 pay if this offer is rejected, as it is likely that very soon the pay recommendations for 2024-25 will be published. The committee is also very clear. This is one step on the way towards pay restoration. If the 2024-25 pay award does not meet our expectations and sufficient progress towards pay restoration, then the Welsh Junior Doctors Committee reserves all ability to launch another industrial dispute in pursuit of better progress and better pay. Now it is time for you to have your say we are holding a referendum on the pay deal from the 12th of June until the 26th of June. Unlike a ballot for industrial action, the referendum on whether to accept the deal from the Welsh Government is not a statutory ballot. This means that instead, you can have your say via an online vote. The referendum opens on the 12th of June and voting emails will be sent to members directly by Civica Election Services, or CES. Only BMA members who are registered as a junior doctor working in the NHS in Wales can participate in the vote. If you aren't yet a member of the BMA, you can join up until the 23rd of June and receive a voting link. To join the BMA, you can scan the QR code on the screen now or alternatively Google Join BMA. The referendum will close on the 26th of June, after which point we will announce the result and further steps.